Hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. This is a channel where I like to make videos about books as well as videos about homeschooling, mostly book related. Today's video is in honor of Father's Day this past weekend. So what I wanted to do was highlight a couple of books that really exhibit some amazing characteristics that dads have. And in particular, I'm thinking about my dad and my amazing husband who just loves our kids so well and exhibits lots of these traits. So let me hop into the books I want to highlight today. The first one is a classic and the rest of them are books I've read recently. So the first one is Atticus Finch from To Kill a Mockingbird. I feel like most people probably thought of this originally when you think of the best dads kind of in books. And so my first exposure to this book was in ninth grade and my teacher actually read it aloud to our class, which at the time I remember thinking that was weird, but it has stuck with me. So maybe it was a very good idea because it was just such an amazing story. And I remember when I was listening to it, I remember thinking that the dad just was so soft-spoken and so wise. And he also had just a lot of like quotes or quips or things that he would say to his children that really would stick with them and he would say often enough that they would remember. And also when I think of Atticus Finch, I think of personality tests. And in particular, I like the Enneagram test and he is deemed a classic kind of one or perfectionist or improver, an activist that, that he really cares about right and wrong. And like, it was very important to him to teach his children those things. So he had a number of wonderful quotes. I vaguely remembered one, but I had to look it up. So let me read what I found because it's just so relevant to today's culture. So in this book, he said, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. That's what he taught his kids. And I'm like, that is so good and so wise. And if I could bring that into my parenting, I would just, I would be so jazzed. The second book dad I want to highlight is Arthur Weasley in the Harry Potter series. I love Arthur Weasley. I think he is just such a wonderful character. He is so very laid back. He often is portrayed as letting his wife kind of run the show and run the kids and all these things, but I don't believe that's totally true. I feel like he brings a lot to the table as the dad in that big family. He's just very, like I said, laid back, kind of easygoing, but he's also just, he exhibits a lot of hard work. He exhibits a real positive attitude, like a, just a real positive outlook on life, which I really liked. He would often just laugh at the antics of his kids, especially the twins. And I have found being a mom of twins that you have to laugh or you're gonna cry. And so I just really like his character in that book that I just feel like that's a good approach. Just a positive, things are gonna be okay. And life is more fun as long as you let it be fun. So the next three books I read pretty recently, but they had amazing dad figures. So the first one I'm gonna highlight is the dad out of the book Thief. So Hans Huberman, I think is how you say his last name. And he's actually the foster father, which takes us even to a next level of how cool this dad was. I mean, I loved this book for many, many reasons, but one of my favorite characters was the dad. It might have been my favorite character, even over Liesl the girl. He just showed patience, an abnormal amount of patience. He showed her patience as she was adjusting to a new life with them, as she was grieving her old life, grieving her mom, grieving the death of her brother, and she would often just wet the bed, but he would come in and he wouldn't be a big deal. He would just clean it up and then he'd talk to her. And then in that time frame, he also started to teach her to read. And that is not an easy thing to teach a child to read. And he took that upon himself in the middle of the night and kind of off hours to teach this little girl to read. And it helped her heal and it helped her grow into who, who she was, especially as she adjusted to their family. And so that just was just kindness. But patience, just an amazing amount of patience. The other thing I liked about his character was just his tendency to choose to do what was right. No matter the consequences, especially when he knew the consequences. I mean, this was a World War II book. They housed a Jew in their basement. So he makes choices, even though he knows that it might bring hardship on himself and he knows it might bring hardship on his children, but he exhibits that for his family. So the dad in this book is amazing. Okay, the next book of a dad that was just wonderful was As Bright as Heaven by Susan Meisner. And really the whole family was wonderful. I fell in love with this family when I read it, but I really enjoyed the dad. 
They call him Papa. I'm actually not sure if I even know his name. This is a book about the Spanish flu in 1919. So it is definitely a book that is full of hard things. But the dad, what I liked about his character is he just showed this steadfastness. He showed this like steadiness, but throughout it, no matter how much hardship they were going through, he just seemed to show the ability to really accept life, to accept what life had for him without shutting down emotionally. I feel like a lot of characters in books, especially male characters, are kind of deemed as like shutting down emotionally. They're unavailable, but this Papa character, the dad character, just didn't. He was like available. They could see him crying. They could see him grieving. They could see him re-engage with the family, to re-engage with what was going on and how they were moving forward. And it was just beautiful. It was beautiful, his ability to just love his family and just be very steady for them. So very, like the trait I was thinking for him was like steadfastness. It was just really a beautiful story and his character made it an even better story. So the last book I wanna highlight, An Amazing Dad, is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. This was a beautiful book on many levels, many levels. I'm just pulling out one character that I just really appreciated and it was the dad. So this was a dad of a like six-year-old girl who goes blind and it is just the two of them. And so he's a single dad. And then the things he does to show her love and show her acceptance and show her that she can fight this and she can be independent are just very heartwarming. So he's just really devoted to her. It's fun, especially at the beginning when you're getting to know those two characters, is it talks a lot about how he develops these replicas of the city, because they lived in Paris before, right before the bombings in World War II, and he, he built this replica of her, her block, her kind of neighborhood, so she could feel it with her fingers and then she could navigate it when she was out and about. And so that gave her the confidence if she ever got lost from him or for, or for whatever reason, she could always find her way home. So he taught her that and then like it would always talk about the different gifts he gave her and all of these things were, were how he showed her love, how he showed her that she could be independent. She's more than the blindness that is plaguing her life kind of thing. It was just very beautiful. So he just definitely has this devotedness that is very, very strong. And you can definitely see it in his character as his character is described. So I loved the dad in this story. So yeah, those are the books I just wanted to highlight. I was thinking about dads this past weekend and just all the amazing things they are and how they bring these just strong character traits to their parenting and hopefully to their children. Character traits like wisdom, character traits like a positive outlook, devotion, steadfastness, and probably the biggest one is patience. That is what I have. Please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel if you like what you see. Otherwise, I will be back for another video later in the week. So I'll see you then. All right, take care.